You know everyone's talking about you, don't you? They're all worried you're going to learn to walk like Miss Lister and be like her. Miss Walker and I have chosen to rise above it. We have a thousand better things to expend our energies in. Oh, I heard. I have asked Miss Walker to come and live with me at Shipton. We intend to change our wills and unite our estates. It will be as good as a marriage. Well, why is she discussing matters like that with you? She likes me. She hasn't got a clue about the vast tapestry of your fruity past. How much does she know about you and me? He said you'd never done this before. You are the only person that matters to me now. I know when you're in love and this isn't it. Well, we are where we are. Keep running. This is the future. Our future. My family. You know they'll use it against me. If they can, they'll have to get past me first. Who would ever suspect a woman of being a fortune hunter? It's evil. I'm building a hotel. What? With the town expanding, the demand for such things will only become greater. With your superior intellect and powers of persuasion, you could run the whole of Halifax. I don't think anyone can accuse me of lacking ambition. You can't go on like this. You do know that. Your borrowing has become excessive. I've been dealing with men all day. We live in a volatile climate, Miss Lister. Tiresome, inarticulate men. Humbug. Take no notice of your father. He just thinks you might ruin yourself. And all of us. I don't think you understand the strength of feeling in the town, Mum. We do things so that we can have a life together. We matter. I don't want to make any more enemies, but I'm not really sure I could trust you any further than I could spit. <laughs>